Good day everyone, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this video in the Free Math Worksheet series. This is video number 33 and this covers the strategy of multiplying by 10. The worksheets that I'm referring to come from this book, it's from our 10 minutes a day level 1 book 4 and the title of the book is Easy Multiplication and Division. What we've found in checking the curriculum documents for Australia the UK and the United States is that there is a year level or grade level for each of those countries at which the students don't learn all of the multiplication facts. When they first do multiplication number facts they learn a selected group of the easier ones and so that's what that book is aimed at. In Australia that's uh, year three, in the UK it's year two and in the USA it's grade two. So the book itself covers uh, two times, three times, five times and ten times which are the ones for um, all of those countries and, and uh, sorry four times as well which is included in the Australian set. So this is the second strategy we've already covered doubles before we get to this one and this now multiplying by ten is the next easiest strategy. I want to deal with um, a recommendation early on and that is that we don't say to students just add a zero. So when we're multiplying a number like 4 by 10 don't say add a zero. For a start we're not adding zero, if you add zero obviously you get the same number you started with and it's not just a matter of writing a zero at the end of the number making it bigger simply because when we handle other numbers later on and the students learn about decimal fractions if they were asked, asked to multiply a number like 2.5 by 10. If they simply wrote a zero on the end, some of them will think that's multiplying by 10. But of course it's not and it hasn't changed the number at all. Whereas with this number it does, or at least visually it appears to. So rather than that, my recommendation is that you talk about the values and the places um, to help the students understand what's going on. So we're starting with four. So here we have four ones. Now if I had magnetic base 10 blocks today I would have used them but I don't so I've drawn some pictures on the, the board instead. Here are four ones. What will we have students if we multiply this by 10? We'll have four tens or 10 lots of four or however we want to put that and that will look like this and the students can do that with their own blocks or own um, base 10 material. How would we write that? Will we put a four for the four blocks and then we won't have any tens at all so we'll have zero, sorry we won't have any ones in the ones place so there'll be a zero in the ones place. So they'll understand why the zero is there and they'll see why the four is the same as the four that was there and so on. All right, let's just look at the names for the multiples of ten. Um, this whole strategy by the way will uh, match very closely students study of numbers and study of place value and we call this a place value strategy so this doesn't have to be just a number fact strategy lesson when you're teaching this it's um, bundled up if you like with place value understanding as well and there are some tricky aspects to this there's some inconsistencies and of course I'm sure you recognize what they are. These examples here 20, 30 and 50 don't reinforce the connection between the name for the number of ones and the name for the number of tens. When we're dealing with four as an example we're going to be talking a lot about four. We have four blocks, we write a four, this is the symbol for four so we're repeating that. How many tens do we have? Well we have four tens so I put four tens in the tens column and again we're using that language to reinforce it. We can almost cheat a little bit here and abbreviate that with the symbol for four and then a capital T to stand for tens and we can you know make two digit numbers using this abbreviation and then we can talk about what we call that and of course we call it 4t which looks a lot like four and the t is for tens. Now I hasten to add there's no trick here there's no sort of teacher's sleight of hand to make it look like there's a connection when really there isn't. There really is a connection. It's not an accident that this name for four tens is 40. It's got a, the word four in it. Uh, the only difference of course is the U is missing and we'll cover that when we get students writing it down. But early on in the discussion, the verbal oral discussion, um, we don't even need to mention it. 
because it sounds you know sounds like there's a connection as there is same as 60 70 80 and 90 so in introducing the strategy of, in talking about the place value concepts I would start with one of those examples not 20 30 or 50 because they don't sound like the single digit name to reinforce that point what I've done with my own students is almost like a joke to talk about what it would be what the names of the tens would be if we were consistent so instead of having 20 we would then have 2t and instead of 30 we'd have 3t so we would have 2t 3t 40 5t 60 70 80 90 and you can hear as I just say that some of them actually are correct the 6 7 8 and 9 T you know there's they're entirely consistent um, so then we just need to apply extra attention to the 20 30 and 50 help the students remember that those are special cases and they have to take particular care with them so that's the that's the summary of the strategy um, that's the end of this video I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next week